Single player selected. And welcome back, friends. Welcome back to Little Nightmares. Chip Pants? Yes, Pat. How are you going to get us out of this situation? Well, first off, something very important I got to do. We got to get on a mover hat. I, I say the bear, Chip Pants. The bear? No, Pugman. It's Davy Crockett if, hat. If any hat is you, it's that bear hat. Oh, I don't know if the bear's deadly enough to get us through this bit. Okay, fair enough. You might need a little bit of deadliness to it. I, I do need. So I add need the old raccoon hat. Something spicy with a tail hanging off it like that. Now, they okay. all seem... Well, a few of them are busy. Now, I don't know what those guys are doing. I don't know what's going to happen. I have no clue. But I do see TVs in there. Maybe I can, like, Jump in there on. and switch it on. Yeah. I don't know where I'm going, though, to tell you the truth. So, I mean, I see an open window there, but nothing to hop on. So we're just going to get stuck in. We're going to get moving with this deadly hat. Go! Ouch. Okay, they're not bothered. Maybe not yet. Huh? Did you just switch that on? You did. I switched it on. Oh, there's a rampy up here. Maybe I can twist the knob. Or, ugh. I, I've got to use the TV to get in there. Get in where? Oh, I see. I see what you're you saying. You see what I'm saying, Pug? You see what I I'm see, saying? said the man who just visited the opticians. <laughs> so, how am I going to get them away and then run back to slap on the TV... And then use the TV. Can to you get do in anything there. with that hat there on the floor, on on the ground there? This one right here. No. No, I sure can't. I can give this a high five though. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> um. All right, so I'm just going to what I I think I'm going to slap the TV and run. Can you climb up that locker? To yeah. Right in the in distance. Of, yeah. Okay. No, I don't think so. Doesn't open. No. I think I'm just going to try to do it at a distance and see. Maybe, oh, maybe if I get them over here, they'll mm. see that TV and maybe. leave me be. Leave me be. Yeah. Look, there's a TV over here. TV over here. Hide, hide. See, TV. Nice chip bats. And stay out of their way. Let them watch their stories. Alright, and hopefully they won't care that I'm about to zap right in front of them. Oh crap, oh crap, what's going on? Oh, they're breaking through. Get in, get in, quick! Oh no, and I'm oh, busted! Oh, you broke it! I'm busted! Oh no, I don't, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happening, but I'm moving. Keep going. Just keep there's moving. A there's a TV in here. Oh, oh no. you got to jump over the... Oh, no, 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 oh. watch it. No, no, no. Well, you better... Think of something. <laughs> Throw a bottle at there. Here, have hats. a drink. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to jump over that counter. Up I think you're right. Light, I think. think you're right. Dang it. Move it. Oh, at least it started me in here. Hang on. God, the noises they make, they sound like pigs. <laughs> Alright, everybody, you have a TV right in there. Freeze, suckers. They're still, they're still not leaving me alone. Oh, oh come on. That's what you're doing. <laughs> I was holding down the grab button and it I grabbed a shoe. This is not enough TVs to go around. Dang! All right, people, grab it and go and keep moving. Holding down the sprint. Okay, that pauses them for a little minute. All right, just keep moving. Just keep moving. Curving it in. Yeah, just jump in. Ooh. <laughs> Nice work. <sighs> they were hot on my raccoon tail. Alright. Let's have a look. 
It's quiet. Good bounce. Good bounce that couch. What do we see? What do we see? Okay, a rope up there. Can we get up here? Whoop. I see him. He's a TV. Oh, an axe. Oh. What? So you, you'll probably be able to bash something with that axe. Maybe this door right here, huh? <gasps> oh, hey! oh! Georgie! Georgie! Come on! But now what? Here, keep trying. Pull oh, her pull her! Oh, nice. oh! Oh, Georgie! I'm not touching you! <laughs> he wants pulling out, she thinks. Oh crap! Oh, you're gonna need that axe. Go, go! Let's get out, let's get out. Come on, Kane's coming! Oh crap. Come on! Go! Go, 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 go! <laughs> okay, uh, oh. up and over, up yeah. and over. Hang on. Stick with it. Climb, climb, climb. He can't surely fit in there. He could maybe suck me out. It's too so. I'm not trusting nothing. Oh no. He's probably above. Keep on going or go up. I'm gonna keep on going. Oh. Son of oh, he's having a look. Now what? Now what? What do we think? I have a little page of pants. Oh, just keep oh, moving. Oh, maybe keep going, okay, yeah. Keep moving, keep moving. Wow. Nicely done. By the numbers, huh? By the numbers. Uh, oh, he's coming through the door. I need a stool! <sighs> Why didn't anybody tell Good me? Call. <laughs> We're all captivated. Oh, he's zipping. He's changing channels well, quickly. Well, he's not exactly zipping. Oh, well, actually, he's, he is zipping, zipping, isn't he? Oh, I'm going in slow mo. Oh, you got to pull that bloody thing off, too. Nobody told me about the stool. <laughs> We were, all, we were all hypnotized by kind chip pants. Nobody's hypnotized me. I mean, here. he's well dressed. Smart this... suit. Nice hat. <laughs> That's not enough to do it. Well, come on. Go, go, go. And pull. And pull. Come on. Go. Nice. Now where? Now where? I'm slipping. I'm slipping. That's okay. It's further away from him. Oh. Lovely stuff. I'll tell you what, you are better in a raccoon ha hat. Needed a serious hat for a serious job. Should I open? Anything? No. Maybe I shouldn't be messing around. He's probably hot on my, my raccoon tail. Hmm. Oh, son of a biscuit! Everybody keep an eye out for an exit. That's cheating, jump, Kane. Jump, jump. That's cheating, Kane. He wants a piece of you, Chip Pants. I see the shadow. Come on. I'm not gonna look back, okay? You're just gonna... You're gonna tell me stuff if I need to know. I'm gonna keep my eyes forward. Well, he's still on your tail. Lever here to hang on to. Let me out. Golly. Cool. Pull it. Did I do it the wrong oh, way? I, I don't know. I thought you did well. I wonder if that just unlatches the train car. What do we think? 
Try pulling it the other way. Okay, okay, okay. Such a cool scenario. seconds that I don't have. Go the other way. Beautiful. Yeah! What do you think about that, Stretchy? Kiss my raccoon hat tail. <laughs> Can't zip that quick. Okay. Wow. We live to fight another day, people. Every environment is so interesting and just so well modeled. Oh, he's hurt. Look. Oh. Oh, get get that fella there. Georgie. Oh, did I miss him? Maybe he's trying to lead you somewhere. Huh. Good, good thought. Oh, I see! How cool is this guy? Oh, up here. This is no longer a game. This is our world, and I'm in it. Deep in it. And I'm hurt. My kidneys hurt. <laughs> I can't fight anymore. I need my buddy Georgie. She's leading you out. Up we get. Her spirits are your chip pants. We're all with you. You've come a long way. It's time to visit the 5G tower. We gotta bust that thing up or something. We'll find you a good axe. <laughs> oh no, what now? What now? The music's changing. There it is. There's the tower. This has to be a prequel to the other because at the end of the first game, <laughs> George had a lot of powers. Can you move? What's going on? Oh, Are you no. taking your hat off, Chip Pants? That means it's getting real serious here. Hit, hit, flick my remote at him or something. Come on! Don't give up! Ooh. Oh! Oh, they're fighting like two Jedi. Okay, so what do I do? <laughs> Are you doing that? Maybe I get a frequency going or something. Hold him off, chip pants. Oh, I bet it is something to like tuning of the the two joystick frequencies. Let's try it. I okay. Have no idea. What are you doing? I gotta, I gotta channel my Jedi-ness right now. Because you, you're tired of running. Is that it, Chip Hands? Yeah. Just gonna I'll... face him. Eye to Shinbo. Mm. Okay. Go All on. right. That's a good one. That's a good one. Well, how'd you do that? What are you doing? I think I'm just trying to tune the frequency until he starts fizzing out. Okay, people. She's tuning and the frequency. So he fizzes out. Right there. That's a good one. That's a good channel. How'd you do that? I'm moving joysticks around until I'm feeling it. I can't I can't I can't <laughs> talk about the magic. I just gotta do it. You just gotta feel. Like that. I got strength within me. Oh he's getting all jerky. Come on. Get that big jerk, chickens. Try to lean this way and that. <laughs> and that. That's 
mistake of his messing with the chip pads. Do you think this is working? He yeah, looks I hurt, do. right? That's it. Go into the light. Although you are on your butt. What now? What now? What now? I think you beat it. Oh, look! 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 I can I can mess with the lights. I wonder what this is doing. You're bending them. I'm. Am I moving all of these buildings? Oh. Oh, chip pads. Take it all down. This is this is gonna give me a complex. This game. Huh? Well, we're moving now. This must be the tower. Am I here? This is me moving forward. Achievement unlocked. Paled. I've got no hat. I need a hat. At least you didn't lose the bear one. <laughs> You're happy about that, aren't you, Puck? The guy, we've got that guy's ticket now. We know how to defeat him if we see him again. But we gotta get Georgie and get out of here. Did I miss it? Oh no. Did I lollygag? I smell a showdown. Oh! Oh my gosh, it's like Labyrinth. It is like Labyrinth, isn't it? Toby! <laughs> Take back. I've come for the child. What is going on, Pug? I'm just going through pinks. I don't know if I should be or not. Oh no. I think you should be. Alright, that's a loopy. Is that? Okay, I'm gonna keep going this way. Maybe maybe we'll find something else. Okay, dead end. So I'm gonna go back the way I came. Then. Now try it one more time. I don't think so. Oh no. Whoa. Hmm. Huh. Maybe if I walk into it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> and keep going back back and forth like that. See what happens, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um, what are we missing here? Okay, maybe, what is this oh, wait object a to the left it's, here? What is this thing? Look, it's a it's a warped sh uh, cabinet or something. Can you pull on it? But pulling on it. Okay, what is this? Hmm. Can I change frequencies here or something? Colin Georgie. 
Go through it again. Just keep doing it. Again. Oh, there's a shadow there. Oh, no, it's your own shadow. Yes, my own shadow. What happens if you just sit still somewhere, do nothing? The music's the loudest. Right here. Watch. Quiet. Let me see what it sounds like through here. Is it like clues? I don't hear it there. Let's try to follow the music and see okay. if that changes. Loudest there. One second. Yeah, let's try. Quiet, quiet. Okay, let's follow the music. Nothing. Music. Oh, that's cool. No oh. shit pants. That was so fluky. Okay. Okay, we got that there. Follow the music again. Okay, nothing there. Sounds pretty loud there. And nothing. Oh, okay. what a cool little puzzle. Neat. Okay, what do we got? We hear it loudest here, I think. Ooh. Okay. Next bit. Nice. Don't fall. I wonder if I could have fluked my way through that first room. Oh, there's all sorts. Whoa. I see my own shadow through that door. <laughs> Alright, I hear that. But before, I wonder if it's worth just having a quick look. And I want to look down here really quick. Okay. Open door it is. Careful. <laughs> so it's through this door. Yeah. Can you pull it open? Ah. Oh, maybe I can jump on it from this dresser. Then try the other door to the left because they are replica doors. Your shadow was on the other side. Okay, okay. Or maybe not. But you see your shadow there, right? I do. Oh, oh, I could push the door open but not go through it. <laughs> oh, chip pants. You are go killing, go killing it. it today. Go! Oh. Do you think I can do it without going through yeah, it? Yeah, I think so. Give it a good push. But don't go through. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There you go. No! Awesome. All right. Where's it loud? Yeah. Lovely stuff. So much thought and care was put into these puzzles. I am so impressed. All right. What do we got? What are we dealing with here? It's pretty loud there. Nope. Nope. Okay. Pretty straightforward. No. No. Hmm. Uh, we gotta get across. Ooh, big leap. Leap of faith. Hmm might end up killing us, but we'll see. We'll see what it does. Alright. 
You're on fire today, shit pants. What's going on? I don't know what's going on, Pumin. Don't jinx it. Though. I can't even moan about anything. <laughs> Not yet. It'll happen. Something will happen. We're getting taller up this tower. We are getting up and up. This might be the last door. Is it through this door, I wonder? Let me just... Because there's an open one down here. I just want to make sure. Oh my god, did everybody hear that growling? Or something. Something I don't want to mess with. She's huge. Is she going to be a beast? Is she going to eat me like I'm a Wumble? <gasps> oh. What have he done to her? Is it even her, Chipettes? What? Uh... Uh, give her, her the duck. She liked the duck, right? No, no, she didn't like the duck. She liked the, the, the donkey. That's right, a donkey. Maybe just give her something. <laughs> Is she going to be mad at me if I go up to her? I don't think you've got a choice. Oh. I'll press Y to call. Reader chip pants. What do I? Do? I don't want to get eaten. Hello. Ow! Oh, it's just an accident. Maybe lead her out. No, check the other side. Oh, she's blocking something. <laughs> oh, I like it. Why? What? You want to hurt somebody? You're going to smash the box, aren't you? Maybe we can get out of here or something. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> that was kind of mean. Oh! What? Oh, oh shit, Pat, she paid her off. Okay, she, she's ticked. She's ticked. And I've lost valuable seconds. Ugh. Okay. That's now, not the Georgie we all know, people. Now I know what's going on. We're not messing around. I'm not... I'm just... I can't look back. I don't know where to go, so I'm just running. Oh, so close. you got to get through that little vent there. Let's go. God, this game is so bizarre. No, that was valuable. Oh, so oh. close. Cutting tight corners, going around. Oh. oh, he ran off the side. This is what happens when you smash your music box. <laughs> don't do it. All right. Jump up it just right. Boom. Go. Oh. Now where? Now where? Now where? Push the door. Hide. Or hide. Um... Because I don't oh, think I could. I don't. I couldn't reach that knob. I don't think. Good, good, good. Opened it for me. Good call. Follower. 
to be honest, uh, I wouldn't, but I think the game wants you to. <laughs> oh no, I gotta slash that open. We need that axe, everybody. We need it. Get it. Pop it out. Get to hacking. It's probably gonna notify her. Son of a. Okay, do I smash her now? Do you smash her now? She's protecting her box. So I'm gonna smash the box. I called her. Oh. Oh, so when you call her. She'll leave the box when I call her, but. Mm. What's to the right? Can we have a look? Oh. Maybe I. Let me see if it's a loop loop. Okay, it's a loop. That's good to know. Hmm. I'm thinking. Yeah, hammer the old. Uh, music box. <laughs> Flip! <laughs> That's what she thinks of that. Not ever in my music box! <laughs> Her arms might be stringy, but she can get some good whiplash out of them. This is what I'm thinking. I'm gonna leave the axe here in the middle, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna tick her off. Come here. Oh. That's a good idea, though, Chip Pants. I'm, I'm still in shock with that you're getting all these ideas. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put it closer in this direction. <laughs> Hang on. Now I'm gonna call her and tick her off. No, that didn't work. That didn't work. <laughs> what do we think? She's like a pug with a toy. And you can't get it out of the pug. Yeah! Beautiful. <sighs> What'd that do? See anything? Hear anything? Oh, the light's following me. All right. Oh, you got your weapon. Need that. Shall we smash up the door a little bit? For old time's sake. All right. All right, we're gonna do it again. Now we've got four doors to work with. <laughs> Are her arms get longer, or is it just me? <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna have a little look around. See, which, see which um, doors they put us through. Oh, she doesn't like when you get close. <sighs> okay. Hang on. Oh yeah. Jesus. She's really mad and protective about that. Where's your axe? It's right here at my feet. Oh. Oh, so when you call her, she kind of goes for your shadow there. Leaves leaves an impression, doesn't it? I wonder if I can like hit her. No, I think you've got it right. You just want to hit the box. No, do it again. And do it again. Go back. You're close. Dang. Oh, you did it! Cheeky little chip pants went between the legs and <laughs> hit it. Okay, now where? We tried again. 
It's like we're in the nether. Let's look over here. Another axie door? I do love this weapon of choice. Oh, there's a, it's a, a top now, that axe. Alright, what do we think? What do we think? Same thing, same thing? Yeah. Ooh, okay. Oh, you can't jump up there? It's a, it just involves a climb. Uh, an extra step. I'm gonna do this. Where am I? Where am I? I don't know. Oh yeah, right here. Get an axe in a better position first, like that. Oh, I accidentally called her there. I think you could have grabbed it. Then. Bop me on the head. You just get out with the axe, I think. Like, get out? From that angle, just move away again and... I'd get it through the door on the top left, or the back left, personally. Like right up top there? Yeah. You, you put the axe over there? Eventually, yes. Okay, let's see if we can work on that. I'm grab it and go back with the axe. No, no, it's just going to kick your ass. Oh, you got away with that. She slips a hand through there, too. Okay. So she'll even go for my shadow there. Okay. Man, I feel... Oh, well, she bust up her legs a bit, didn't she? Yeah, I reckon... Uh... You can take, I think you can bring that axe back around if you go through the door with the axe. If you take it off of the ledge. Of course, if you take it through the right door, it's automatically up the ledge on the left. Okay, I'm with you. Give All it right. a go. So let's try. There you go. Drag it down here. And then call her here and then head back again. Go through the door! Ooh. And then what? I would say, when you go through there, call her again at the other door. To and then go through her. that door, and you should maybe have time. Let's try it. Oh, wait. I'm going to give myself more time. I'm going to try that again. Call you here. Grab a Yaxi here. Drag it down. Call her there and go back in. Don't do that. Call her at this door. Bang, go. Hit that thing. Boom! Uh. Wow, what a puzzle! That was a tricky one. Okay, okay, alright. Grab that extra. Grab pants. it and spank it. Oh, come oh, on. No. She's getting bigger. <laughs> just just let me just let me touch it for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> that is a, our pug with a ball. <sighs> you can't go near his ball unless you exchange it for either food or another toy. Let's have a look uh, around. Maybe there's something let me else just we've got to let do. me unstick it as well. Let me just get loose. All right. Now where are we? I 
think you're gonna have to call her. I have to call her. And see what she does. So okay, she's cowered away from it. She's not coming cool. at me. Boom. Oh, oh dearie me. What a swing. Dearie me. The thing's the size of a a tool shed, and I miss it. What does that say? Since she got the eye by chip bats. <laughs> In the truest sense of you can't hit the broadside of a barn. All right. Stay back. Do it again. Hey, look at that toy box. We've we've banged it enough times. Do it again. Yeah, it's it again. Is it finally smashed? Oh, there she is. Where? Oh, I see her. Georgie, you all right? Okay? I think she still might be a bit miffed at you. <laughs> I'll get you another one. No, come on. Are we ready to get out of here? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I would go the wrong way. Oh, no. Oh, it's a eyeball Resident Evil blobby thing. I can't look. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa, no! You're still alive somehow. I don't know how. Go! Look at this ugly thing. Uh. Georgie! Get up, chip Georgie. heads! Stop being lazy! I don't know if I'm gonna make it! George is going to have to reach for me. Aww. Beautiful. Oh, don't let go. Chip hands, put yourself up. Go. Hands. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying. <gasps> oh. Did she do that on purpose? She might have done. No, I, I refuse to believe it. No, that didn't happen. Well, you weren't really pulling yourself up. Maybe she had to let you go. No, she spat on her hand, so it was extra slippy. Well, you've been stuffing all the cupcakes, shit pants. It was just too heavy for the hand. Or it was payback for smashing her uh, music box. Where am I? Oh, frick. Who? Is that you? Everybody keep their eye out for an axe. <laughs> <laughs> Even the eyeballs in the game. They're going to keep their eyes open for an axe. <laughs> Where? Where are we? I'm going to have words with her. What's up here? Ugh. Well, it's like you're the king down here. They waiting for my instructions? There's eyeballs everywhere. My instructions are get me a cupcake. Just when you think you, you couldn't get more strange, it does. Just having a little look around. I can't move, though.
Oh no, am I grown up? Hmm. Am I turning into the stretch man? Oh god, you're not, are you? That's why I was ticked off at Georgie. You are getting pretty tall. Look, I can't move. <laughs> oh, it was you all along, Chimpanz. I would have known it was you if he had the raccoon hat. <laughs> that would have been the dead giveaway. So did Georgie trap you down here? And now you've been pissed ever since. I have opportunity for revenge there too. God, I'm gonna have to have a think about this one. This it's a it's it's a mind warp. Oh wow, oh wow. That Georgie. I don't know if she's good or bad because the way that the first one ended, not just ended, her whole personality throughout, eating wombles. Um, wombles. What else did she do that was really twisted? I don't she know, ate she a rat. was snapping necks and stuff near the end, though. She she gobbled a rat. I think when she could have had carrots. Oh, oh bloody hell, chip pants. Do you think that I could have had a different ending? Or is... Uh, you think only... I have no clue. I don't think so. Uh, I'm still trying to put my mind... Wrap my mind around whether she dropped you on purpose or... It no, wasn't she did. malicious. 100%. She dropped me on purpose, and I'll tell you why. But, Chip, if, you, if I was holding on to you that long, uh -huh. and you weren't pulling yourself up, uh -huh. I'd be like, such a chip pants, you can go. Because you're going to take <laughs> me with you. And I don't want to be trapped down there with eyeballs. The reason I am leaning towards malicious intent on that one is because, number one, how she acted all through the first game. Yeah. She, she just had a little bit of a dark, sinister edge to her. Um, and number two... She didn't look too upset after she dropped me. But, she just got up and went through the TV. But maybe that's not her fault because you're the one who got her trapped in the TV in the first place. Did I? But... I rescued her from hillbillies in the woods. Maybe she was happy there. <laughs> maybe you kidnapped her. Oh, come on. I let her out. And now I thinking about her. thinking about it, even though from you Elmer got... Fudd. Even though you got her trapped in a TV, uh, it was you in the first place going after her in a time loop. If you were, if you were Stretch Arms McGee. But the whole reason that there was the time loop is because she put me there. Oh, this this is going to blow my mind. <laughs> Ten pence, you can have my mind occupied, and there's going to be arguments about this for weeks to come. I, I know it. Pugman, I'll just put a TV on in front of you. In <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, just. As soon as you switch it off, though, I'm going to yeah. throw a fit and a rage. <sighs> what a excellent platformer, though. I have to say, one of the best platformers I've seen in a long, long time. Both of them. You would think that uh, usually whenever they do sequels or follow-ups, they're never as good as the first ones, but this one completely stood on its own as a wonderful game. This is easy, a 9 out of 10 platformer, I would say. 
Now, you brought up a good point. In a way, you thought that this was a prequel to the first game. It is, isn't it? Because she had powers at the end of the first game. Mm -hmm. And she didn't hear, and she didn't have a rain mac. She didn't have her slicker. That's right. right. So to me, it is a prequel. I think you're right. It feels Uh, right. The puzzles were surpassed the first one, in my opinion. And I know one of the reasons that you'd knock this game down is the length of it, that it could always be longer. But in my opinion, I think that that was something that really was a strength for this game. Sometimes games go on too long and they get repetitive. They lose their their um, yeah, they stretch their glamour. certain aspects out too long. Yeah. But this was a great length, I think. It wasn't too short, it wasn't too long. No, it was perfect. I thought the first one was short. Mm -hmm. But this one, no, they stretched it out and everything was, it was always captivating, always interesting. Yes. The production value is top notch. The sound, the, the models, the lighting, the rooms, the, the puzzles themselves were fantastic. I don't have anything bad to say about it, to be honest. I, I can't think of anything bad to say about it. The only things that would come out of my mouth are positive. They have... There's a really difficult thing to capture in horror, either movies or games, and that is timing. That the timing, that the most goosebumpy moment in the whole game for me was when Kane, him, he came through the television. Up until that moment, we had not seen any type of a build-up to this guy, to this yeah. really stretchy guy. It yeah. was just all of a sudden, he's he's there, this creature. He's he's terrifying, and he's coming through the TV at you. That had me goosebumps down the right left <laughs> arm, right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg. Well, you you are part goose monkey, so. <laughs> That's usually, to be expected. Usually normal types of scares, I'll get goosebumps down one limb, but this one had all four going. <laughs> it was really just wonderfully timed. Um, it was great ideas with the whole TV sets. and Because the, the game keeps changing. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm thinking about TV sets and everything, but before that, the whole school stuff was fantastic. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. You had the hospital stuff where you had to use the flashlight on the the mannequins. Holy crap, was that good. It was so hard, but so good. And then, as you said, you had Elmer Fudd with the old shotgun, which, from beginning to end, it kept that high standard of design. Where you, it, it kept you, it kept you engaged at every yeah. turn. The other thing that this game offered that didn't, that wasn't in the first one, was the uh, use of weaponry. The use first, of, yeah, you, able to swing uh, clubs and axes. That wasn't in the first one. That was a really beautiful touch on this one, and not not the same like same size weapon as him. So it was difficult to swing. So the timing was really difficult to master for me, anyways. In the school with the porcelain dolls, the porcelain kids. But um, once you get the hang of it, it's uh, it's a really beautifully done idea. Of and the interaction with um, your, the other character. So the two of you working together, mm-hmm. especially at the beginning where you shot Elmer Fudd with a shotgun. I thought that was great. Wow. The thing that they could do for the next game, uh, I hope they, I'm really crossing my fingers for a next game, but to make it co-op. They've they've already got the concept there to, that we could help each other out, that we could figure things out together, but to put in that second play would really send this to the next level for me. I'd love them to do that, but I don't think they would because they've got a winning formula, mm-hmm. how it stands. But they're, they seem, they're pushing themselves, aren't they? They're not, they're not content with keeping the same things. They're, they're continually going further and beyond. I think co-op could do that for them. I'm not sure I've played a more bizarre game, to be honest. <laughs> One that comes to mind is um, Xeno Clash was kind of weird, but this, yeah. this is another level of weird, I think. The bosses, which and bosses? Spooky. Um, so we had Wormy Guy that was crawling around the ceiling. Fantastic boss. You had the teacher with the long neck. Teacher with the long neck Elmer was Fudd. brilliant. Elmer Fudd in the beginning. You had Stretch. Um, Kane. Kane. 
And then you just had the regular uh, little bratty kids and, um, and the TV zombies. Brilliant. All of them. And I'm still curious to the story of how Georgie got on the ship in the first place. You want to believe that uh, she's good, but... Yeah, but I, I, I'm losing trust in her quite a bit, to be honest. <laughs> she's not giving me anything to go on here. It's not the ending you would expect. They always make it kind of tragic. Mm-hmm. I didn't think, it was like, surely this wouldn't be the end. Surely it's not, but then... You know what? These people are awesome enough. I think they went ahead and did it. What a guy. I, I The first game, I think we gave that, what, an 8 out of 10? And you gave it an 8 out of 10 because of the length, right? I feel after playing this, I need to lower that score to like a 7 out of 10. And this really? And it's a of a 9 out of 10. <laughs> because I think there's, there's a, a bigger jump than one point between mm -hmm. the two games. Mm -hmm. The only thing that I would I I would lower the first one now that I've played this one to yeah. a seven out of ten, but I would keep this one at an eight out of ten because um, of replayability factor. Just like you pointed out in the first one, it do, the game is brilliant for first time watching, first time experiencing yeah. it. But replayability isn't there. But that's okay. Don't I, you want to get your hats, your pants? <laughs> There, I mean, there was opportunities. I know that we missed a, a, a dunce hat somewhere that I would have loved to have worn, but I had my coonskin hat, and that was going to be my favorite, hands down, out of all of them. Fantastic game. I can see why Ten Pence recommended it. Yeah. And uh, oh. I need to thank you, sir, again for the awesome gift. So much. Thank you. Had a lot of fun. I learned a lot. I learned a lot from what's going on on platformers today. Because mm. I've not really played new platformers, and this one was blew my mind. Brilliant. But, so whenever you... Because I brought this game to your attention. Ye, I mean, this game, the original came out in 2017. Mm -hmm. And when, so when you saw that trailer, I mean, did you have any idea? It, it looked good, but, you know, I never got a, um, an idea of how interesting the character, the main character would be, and how well they did the interaction with the environments and huge boss-like characters yes. chasing you through them, and etc. It's almost like a, the whole game is like a boss fight in Ori. Ooh. One boss fight in Ori is like this whole game. Mm. Mm -hmm. One large character moving around through the levels. Yes. Um, like I said, one of the best platform, one of the best platformers I think I've seen. Mm. It's it's raised the bar for platformers. It, any others from from here on, they're gonna have a um, big shoes to fill, and oh, there's yeah. lot, plenty of shoes to go around in these games. <laughs> so thank you very much, Ten Pence. Thank you for those that made it this far and watching the video appreciate you guys watching it give yourself a pat on the back because you're <laughs> probably the only few that made it this far <laughs> congratulations you made it to the end uh, there, there was some there were some sticky bits there that i'd be hell, shocked if you uh, stuck through <laughs> yeah if you made it that far they do deserve a pat on the back i couldn't believe that i got stuck on a, the porcelain kid bits and other ones that should have stuck me up. I just ended up, you know, getting through it some way or another. But that one, um, that porcelain kid bit, that'll haunt my nightmares. I'd love them to remake some old school games Ooh. like this, like Another World or Out of This World. Mm hmm. Bandi Bandico, I think that's the creators. That's the. Uh creators of this game, I'm, I'm going to keep an eye on what else they do, or see what else they have done. I'd love to to follow this team and um, support them with what more that they do moving forward. I love the idea that you these small little characters in these big worlds, too. It adds like a Toy Story fantasy. Yes! It feels good. Except it's all creepy. <laughs> Even He grew into a big character, though, didn't he? So we, we start off little, but we grow big. So is he in a time loop? He could be. And he was the original stretch 
McGee? Mm. Or you, is he just a new version of him? You notice how that he's not as twisted, monster-like as the rest of the characters. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. he, he looks like a normal uh, human, but all, you know, big. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> oh, Banco Namco. Second, guys. Cool. Ah. Bandai Namco. Oh. Wow. I'm sad it's over. I'm really sad. Me too. And I could just keep playing that game. <laughs> okay, friends. Well, all good things have to come to an end. Mm. So, once again, thank you guys for watching. Ten Plants, thank you so much for gifting such an awesome guy. That, that was a that tur my nightmare just turned into a dream what else Thank to say you. much appreciated it's beautiful it's going to be in my gaming memory bank forever okay friends ladies and gentlemen you guys have a good night thank you once again for watching we shall see you on another video until then you guys take care Bye-bye. Save and quit.